Hey guys! Today we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to look at DIY wands. Back in June, I started experimenting with a whittler's kit that I bought from a local woodworking store. I started out with some sticks that I just collected from my yard. I have a maple tree out front and so I collected dead sticks off the ground. And I used a flex cut whittler's kit, which I'll link in the description box below, to carve off all the bark and to smooth down the branches. I did a light sanding, but nothing too heavy. I really liked seeing the carve marks from the knives. And I just started off experimenting with wood burning on the sticks. I did a couple of quotes and a couple of fun designs. Um, one of my favorites was this vine piece that I did where I just did some weaving vines with some leaves. But I also had fun doing some with stars as well. I picked a variety of different quotes, some from books, some from movies, and some just in general that I found on the internet. And I also left two wands natural as is, um, and one in particular that has a little bit of bark on it. After finishing my wood burning, I erased the line work, and then I started pulling out from my supply bin a bunch of different supplies that I really wanted to play with. I have glass seed beads, I have stones that I have collected over the years from different sellers. I also have some crystals, these fake crystals that I purchased uh, a batch from Amazon on. They were very cheap and they were not real, but or they're not the best of quality, they're, they're dyed, but they're great for small projects like this. I also have a massive collection of gears from when I used to do steampunk jewelry. I've got gears from Michaels as well as real metal clockwork gears. Um, so there's a wide range of cheap versus more expensive gears here. I also have a huge collection of keys. I have the cheap plastic ones from Michaels that you can get in batches or Hobby Lobby. I also have some real antique keys that I have bought from antique stores. And lastly, I have more beads. Some of these are plastic, some of them are glass and some of them I'm honestly not, not quite sure. I collect beads from all over the place. Um, sometimes from antique stores, I will, if they have like a bargain bin jewelry for like 50 cents, I'll go and buy a bunch of pairs of jewelry and then deconstruct them. So I've got a lot of jewelry pieces um, and weird things that I've collected. This honestly isn't even my entire collection, but I'm just showing you examples of things that I used on these particular wands. I also have a massive collection of colored wire that I have collected from various places including Michaels, Amazon, and Hobby Lobby, and, there, and some are from jewelry stores. There's some that are a little bit actual real um, materials that are more expensive like sterling silver um, or silver plated wire. So I have a wide range. I also have some leather strips and then I have some faux leather strips that are more of a suede that I got from Hobby Lobby. And that's what I'm going to start with is just using this suede leather strips that I got from Hobby Lobby and wrapping them around to create these handles. Now I initially started off using just the hot glue but I found over time it doesn't hold up all that well. So what I started doing was I started using hot glue to hold things in place but then I would also use E6000 glue to make sure that there was a real strong bond especially when using gemstones and crystals like you'll see further on in this video. The hot glue allows you to hold it on faster without having to literally sit there and hold it for a half hour to let it dry because I wanted this to be a very fun and easy process. These were little items that I was playing with and I wanted to sell them at craft fairs. I don't want them to be really expensive. I want them to be quite simple. So I glued on some crystals and I did some wire wrapping and I put some beads on there as well to add a little bit of texture. I messed around with putting the suede on the top as well as the bottom and um, gluing the crystals that fit into the little uh, nooks of the stick itself. For this particular stick I was fo focused on a nature earth fairy type vibe and I wanted it to be green and copper. Lastly I used watercolors to decorate the vines and color them in. 
I think adding this little bit of color made this wand and the star wand my favorite wands out of the whole batches. For the star wand, I wanted to give it this nice crystal handle and that is actually a piece from an old cheap chandelier that was at an antique store that had been deconstructed and so I bought the bag of crystal beads from that antique store. So I've got a whole bunch of these and I thought that this piece would really fit into the handle quite nicely. Now, like I mentioned before, I only used hot glue when I first started, and so this piece actually fell out of the handle and I had to then reattach it with E6000 at a later date. Um, so just don't rely 100% on hot glue. It does not hold up or last very well at all. But it's great for holding it in place, like I said before. So for this one, I'm using the real leather strips, and I started doing little, these little ties with wire wrapping and then adding on these little moonstones. And this is actual moonstone. I do have original stone pieces that I've purchased from local beadworking and stone suppliers. When I plan to highlight stones, I do like to buy from reputable buyers to make sure that I am receiving the best stones that I possibly can, especially because I am not super knowledgeable about stones and it's not easy for me to pick out fakes. And so I need to buy from stores and people that I trust to give me a valuable opinion because you can very easily get knockoffs on Amazon. For the quote about magic, I wanted to use some of the steampunk items, so I had this little gear, I wrapped it in the leather stripping, and I put some keys on it with some metal. I had a lot of fun with this one, and I probably spent way more time on it than I should have, but I really like how it came out. So that's the entire process. I went ahead and did this exact same process for all of the ones that I created. These were super fun to make and I'm so glad that I experimented with them. I plan to try different wood in the future because all of these were created with maple. I'm working with pine right now and experimenting on what can be done with that. And I also have a few other options from every time I go in the woods I just collect a few sticks and then try to keep track of what type it is. I'm still learning the carving and the whittling. I'm getting more into hand carving wood. So while I, I don't feel comfortable giving any tutorials on it yet, that is something that I may have available in the future as I get more confident with my own skills and knowledge. And so here's an example of the finished wands. And I think they came out pretty great. I didn't do much to the ones that I kept natural and I used those as the lower price ones at $10. Then um, the ones with just a little bit of leather and a quote I did at $18. And then the ones that had actual pieces and stones on them, I wrote up little stories and cards for them and charged $25. Thanks for watching this quick little DIY. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Have fun making wands! If you appreciated this video, please do give it a like, consider subscribing. I try to make new art videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, remember to create, love, and travel on. Bye!